Hello, what is the challenge response authentication method or CRAM? Uh, this is actually the result of what I'm going to explain now, but let's jump right in. The idea is pretty simple. You have a client and you have a server and the server sends a challenge to the client and the client can only resolve this challenge if it has the password. Then it just sends the response, which means the result of that challenge using the password, sends it back to the server. And while the client is working here, the server is actually working here as well, doing the same stuff with the same password. And let's say the client sends this and the server got this. And then the server checks if both values are equal. And if both values are equal, everything is fine. That's the basic idea. Just send a challenge. You can only solve this challenge if you have the password and then send the result back. The good thing here is that within the network traffic, you don't have to send the password at all. It always stays here on client side and here on server side. Okay, that being said, what kind of challenge could we have? Let's remove all that stuff again and give us a little bit of timeline. The client asked the server, I want to authenticate. What does the server do? It creates a random number. Uh, let's call it X. The server sends this random number X to the client. And then what the client does is it calculates the hash word, sorry, the hash value of the password plus X. Let's move this a little bit in the bottom here. And in the same time, the server actually does the same. Let's say the client's result is Y and the server's result is Z. The client then sends the Y back to the server and the server checks is Y equal to Z. And if yes, everything is okay. And if no, well, then it's not okay. And well, that's basically it. But we before we finish the video, I want to point out a little bit of a problem here. And that's the password. We put in the password. Let's say our password is hello. It's a password. We put in the hash function. That's fine here. But we also, we need to do the same thing over here. So if we want to do that, I need the thinner pen. We also need to put in the word hello here. So we need the password in plain form. And that's not a good idea because then we would have to store the password in plain, plain, in plain form. What we instead want to have is we want to have the hash, just the hash value of the password. Because you know, you should store hash values of passwords on service. But if you use the hash, the hash value here, then you have a problem that you also need to use the hash value here and not the plain password anymore. And if you use the hash value here and the hash value here, then the password itself, the hello itself has no, not, not much value anymore. The, the primary value is in the lies in the hash value from the hash function. What does that mean? If we, let's say we store the hash value of hello, which is, let's say this one, and an attacker actually gets access to our database and store, st steals the password, okay? And then he can use at this point, he can actually use the same, but instead of using like this function, he just types in the hash value that he stole from the database directly and sends that value to the server. So he doesn't, he or she, it, the attacker doesn't even need the password anymore. It's enough to actually just use the hash. So now the hash value has the sensitivity of a password, which is also not a good idea. And by the way, you should also not store just another problem coming up here. Uh, you should not store the, the usual SHA-1 hash value. Instead, you should add a salt here, right? But the problem is if you want to add a salt here, you also would have to add a salt, sorry for the same red here now. You would also have to have a salt here. That means that if you use the salt here, you also have to transmit the salt somehow to the client. Also, if the use if the server uses SHA-1 for storing the passwords, it needs to send that information to the client. The client also needs to have the same SHA-1 hash function implemented on itself to like go the same route. So you see there, there are a couple of problems coming up here. The main being we don't want to store the password in plain form or anything in plain form that can be on the same level as the password, like what I just explained. Okay, that was very difficult language. Okay, how can we solve this problem? Apparently, we can solve it with Scram. 
salted challenge response authentication method for more information consider rfc 5802 or rfc 7677 by the time being that should apparently like written on the internet this solves the problem i didn't check it up okay that being said thank you very much for watching if you have any comment questions comments questions put them in the sections make maybe sure to read the video description because updates of the video will appear there